Green Lantern is number 26. Sam Humphrey's writing Ronan Cliquette on art. Uh, this is a story uh, that is kind of a, a... Well, it's a flashback, but it's uh, it's basically yeah. Rami's journal entries, which serves as the narration for yep. this. And it's basically the story of how him and Volthoom first interacted, how, they, how he ended up creating the rings, why he created the rings, which uh, is because Volthoom goes nuts and becomes dangerous. But why did he become okay. dangerous? What led to that? And it's it's basically that story. Uh, I quite enjoyed this actually. This was uh... it. So we we we've complained about all the the spacey Johnsian space opera mm. stuff, but here I love this. This feels like vintage Blackest Night era Green Lantern. It does. Where, yeah. And do you know why it does? It's because it focuses on two characters. It stays mm-hmm. focused. It's it's very strong. Obviously, everything. It's also related to everything we've been seeing them build up to over the last year of stories. Mm-hmm. Like all of it's been kind of building to this. This so having this feels very important. It also does this really cool thing where they actually genuinely seem like friends first, like because they they agree to help each other. Like Rami wants to experiment with the lantern and. Volthoom wants to go back and save his planet and his mother, and they, they kind of make this deal and they, they, they work together. They try and develop the ring. They they figure out the emotional spectrum. Actually, one of the touches I liked is that the lantern in his chest like lights up various colours. It's always correlating to what he's feeling at that that moment. So yep. there's a moment where he gets angry, but then he, he worries that Rami's right and it goes yellow. So it's like fear. Yep. And it's like really really nice little touches like that. I thought that was pretty fun. Yep. Some parts of the art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Art was pretty solid. Um. But yeah, it's, it's ultimately like, yeah, th- th- this ring's too dangerous. But then the ultimate uh, breaking point is that Rami actually uses the travel lantern himself, uh, and he he sees what actually because uh, Volthoom's Earth when that that to get destroyed, no one knew what destroyed it. It was like an unknown force, right. an unknown entity. Uh, and Rami uses the travel lantern. He sees what did it, and it turns out it was Volthoom himself. When Volthoom goes back to try and save it with his powers, it's actually him that destroys the planet. In this weird kind of you know closed circle, this closed loop of like destiny, yeah, it's, like yeah, it's it's a self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, uh, but of yeah. course he doesn't believe him. He goes nuts when he finds out, and he he starts attacking the guardians. He, he kills lots of them, and it's him going nuts and becoming this all powerful being that that prompts Rami to destroy the lantern and make the first seven green lantern rings. In fact, the final moment of the issue is. I don't know if I've had six so far, but I'm going to guess yeah. this is the seventh and final uh, first lantern. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, it's very different as well, actually, because it's a, a elemental being of a all, almost Groot like, uh, if you will, or swamp thing like. Yeah. Uh, to to be more DC focused. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see these first seven lanterns together, just because I like when we get new teams and new people. Yeah, yeah. So, and and from all this, you know, we had the, we had the the White Lantern Western kind of character. You had the 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 Third World God character. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that we've had. Uh, we had this, the sort of down the luck, uh, sort of, well, lesbian uh, from the last issue. Oh, that's right. And yeah. then we also had the the, the lion faced one. Because because she stuck out uh, to me is the most memorable because she was so normal. You know, it was like, oh, yeah. she's having trouble keeping a job. It was like a really down-to-earth like sort mm-hmm. of story, so hers really stuck with me. That's right. Uh, this one's called uh, Kaleen, for the record. Kaleen yeah. of Alstair. Alstair's the planet. Uh, uh, but, but, but obviously, to see where this goes. Yeah, we, we theorised in the last issue that uh, Simon and Jessica, because they get transported at the end of the last one with a travel lantern, that they're probably going to end up back in time with these first seven Green Lanterns uh, and that should be really exciting. That's why I've been building up, and we've been learning who they all are. Uh, yeah. And I don't know if it has been seven. Uh, if it hasn't been seven, then I'd maybe suggest that the seventh will be one that we discover with them. At you know, at, at the time. Don't don't forget that Jessica's ring is one of the seven. That is two. true. I, so I wonder she who, could yeah. be the seventh at the time. Yeah, uh, your your mate's going, Matt. Uh, yep. But well, I do wonder, like, if her ring is one of the seven, then. Does it, does that mean when she meets the seven that like one of them has her ring? Like the ring recognizes itself, yeah. and what does that do? What what is that? Time paradox. Do, do, yeah, feel. does that do something? Does the ring get confused why why it's now talking mm-hmm. like the way it does with Jessica? Because you know obviously right. it's, it's got a very unique personality as far as the rings go. Because they all sound the same except hers. Hers sounds different. Yeah. Uh, 
and that's really cool. Uh, no, I had a lot of fun with this. I thought this did a lot to. Uh, I mean, I, I think Volthoom's had a lot of good. I feel like Volthoom's had better character development in this run than he did originally. Because as much as I, you know, it was yeah. fine when he popped up in uh, John G's run, but he popped up in John G's run after Blackest Night. That was when John G's mm-hmm. run started to, you know, go down a little bit. It was maybe not not as great as it once had been. Whereas this, I feel like, it's made him a bit more human. It's made me understand his tragedy a little bit better. Uh, and then him and Rami, I feel like their story has given it a little bit more weight. It's, t- it's yeah. given a sort of grounding to everything that we've seen with them. Uh, mm-hmm. And everything we are about to see, I'm actually really excited about the seven original lanterns story coming up. I'm, I'm, Me too. I'm really appreciating how it's built. Uh, I'm really impressed with how far this book came since that first arc. That we were, oh, maybe we'll drop this uh, if it doesn't get better after this first one. Yeah, and oh, sure it enough, helps that Atrocitus sure isn't involved. You know, so do you, do you dislike Atrocitus? I like Atrocitus, but I feel less is more with him. So that's it. If Dexter wants to show up soon, I'm, yes. not, against, I'm not against well, it. Well, Blaze. I love Blaze as a character. You know, mm. uh, her, hers is... The tragedy there rings more true than, than Drosidus. So, but yeah, I mean, it's come so far. I really do like Green Lanterns. It really Every has, week it comes out. It's really become something that feels like a big run now, whereas before yeah. it didn't. Uh, yeah. It felt like the, 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 the rage arc at the start was almost this little... Like tester to just like dip his toes and like you know Humphrey's sort of like got a hold of the characters and then it really started after that and it's been just sort of building uh, kind of on itself ever since like I really enjoy this yeah. bit now so it's, it's I'm, good to see I don't forget too that we have the the hell seed still there um, we do yeah uh, and I'm I'm wondering if the seven lanterns might have something to do with that or because those rings seem different like we just know from the way that they interact with. Jessica, so... Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. I wonder if they all have these unique properties, and, mm-hmm. you know, if she has that one, then did the other six ever go to anyone else, and uh-huh. is, is that maybe something we can explore? I don't know. Mm-hmm.